Hello everybody, it's Wild Play, and I'm bringing to you today another free PBM for you to use in your projects. And I also wanted to show you how you can make the adjustments to use those PBMs in your project. Uh, just a little short video on how to use the Substance Player 5.0 because Substance Player is a free program. Just go to the link I'm going to provide you, download it, and install it. Then uh, also download the zip file to the PBM that I'm going to provide you. And you can download that and uh, unzip it in the location that you remember. And open up Substance Player. And you'll get something that looks like this. Now this is just a uh, cube, a little gray cube. Then I'm going to put this texture on to show you what it is. Now today's texture is a painted wood siding uh, material or substance. I should call it a substance rather than a material or a texture because it does so much more than a texture can do. Once you get this open, if you have some geometry, if you have a mesh, an FBX or an OBJ file, and I think even a 3DS file, if you have one that you have made, perhaps a wall, that you would like to put this on, you can just go to Geometry and load the mesh. If not, Primitive List Cube, as I have here, will be fine. Once you have it open, you just click Open up here. You go to navigate to the zip file I provided. Select the Wood Siding 04 SBSAR file. And click Open. And you'll get this plain wood texture. <clears throat> now to get, uh, I did this in two graphs, a siding base and a siding main. So you're going to want to change this drop down over to siding main and make the material default. And there we are, red painted wood siding. This was done in Substance Designer. Uh, when you go to download the Substance Player, you'll see there's a Substance Designer or Substance Painter and a bitmap to image. I highly recommend those for anybody that wants to make substances uh, for uh, RLC2 in the future. Uh, the support there is phenomenal. The price is reasonable. And uh, the, uh, what the pro the, those products can do are, is, is nothing short of amazing. All right, once we have this loaded, you want to go up here to the siding base and select the resolution. Remember now, PBR consists of multiple maps. You'll have a base color map, a normal map, a roughness map, and a metallic map. The metallic map, in this case, will be pure black because this is a dielectric material. It is non-metal and therefore uh, does not contain any metal information. The roughness does carry a little shine with it. So that file, that uh, that map is also included. If I go back to 3D view here, you'll see that what the PBR does is react to light in a very realistic manner. You're not painting white splotches on something to make represent shine or highlights or shadows. It does that for you. Okay. Then you want to go up here, change the resolution. You can go anywhere from one pixel all the way up to 4096 pixels or 4K map. I'm going to select the 1024 or the 1K map so Rand doesn't yell at me. And I'm going to do that for both graphs. Now it occurs to me that not everybody is making a horse stable with red wood siding. So, one of the parameters I exposed for you to be able to change is the color. Just open the color uh, bar, select the little square there, change it to whatever color your heart desires. And some uh, additional effects I have exposed are things like wear. Paint sits out there the sun a long time, ages, starts to play, flake and peel and 
wear out and so we can add some age to this just by dry, uh, dragging that slider up there. Now we have an old uh, wood siding and it also tends to get dirty so we can add some dirt. Just like that we can also adjust the height of the dirt. And if you upload your own mesh, you can also uh, tile it to fit that mesh. And this tiles the texture part of it without tiling the effects so that uh, it doesn't look funky. All right, and once you play with those enough, you get the, oh, as you see, as I did that, if the map's too big here, just go ahead and select fit there. It updated the color map. It updated the normal map. It updated my roughness map all at the same time, simultaneously, so that I don't have to worry about is the information corresponding or making additional maps. It's just that easy. All of them are done. All I have to do now is go up here and click export as a bitmap. Browse to the folder you want to use. Select that folder. Select the format. To print the maps out in PNG is probably going to be a safe one. Then base name pattern. Okay, the underscore percent O at the end of this denotes the map name. It will put a a uh, name at the end of the file name, telling you that it's color map, base map, base color normal or roughness and metallic map. So you want to leave that there. The percent %f would say it is a, it would take the graph name. Okay, in this case it would say siding base or siding main. Or you can change that to something that uh, you would recognize better. So let's say wood siding 4. Or in this case 0, 05 since we changed it. And then you just click export and once you do you have all your maps in that file for yourself and when the dev team has that ready for us to go you'll be set to just plug those maps into the corresponding slots you can make some adjustments I'm sure they'll have a adjustment to adjust the intensity of the normal map that sort of thing excuse me, <clears throat> the intensity of the normal map, that sort of thing. And you have a BBR material. And anytime you want to use this one again, you just go back to that same SAR file, upload it, um, make the changes for the text project that you want to use it on, and print the maps, and you're ready to go. You can do that over and over and over again, all with one PBM. So I hope you'll be able to get a lot of use out of this as well as the other ones I'll be providing in the future. And I certainly hope other people will uh, offer some free. And maybe there'll be also a market uh, where we can uh, sell these materials. Uh, again, like I said, if you want to learn how to make these, I highly recommend the, the algorithmic uh, products where you got the Substance Player 5.0. Uh, and I'll be seeing you all soon in the forum. Thank you. Yes. <laughs>